now we move to block, basic building block number six, which without block number six, block number five becomes useless. It is called the follow through. All right, and an example I used in my old CD I was watching last night is the golf. I still like that example. So I'll use it again, but now my swing is better. All right? You have a ball called the golf ball on a piece of wood stick into the ground called the tee. Because I trained Tiger how to play, so. <laughs> you all don't believe all this up to you. Lah, huh? Then you hold the club. What kind of club? Depends where you are a member. You understand? And you do that. Leg must be like that. Huh? And then you swing. Hard work. Now that's, you hit the ball and your club follows through all the way. And the ball goes for, mine is about 300 meters or something like that. 40, something like that. But if you, but if you hit the ball, boop, and you stop, all right? What Tiger used to do, the ball just goes about a few inches, because there's no follow through, all right? And this is a very powerful example. So when you show the plan, you just hit the ball, correct? And you stop there, the ball just drops. You got to hit, and you got to follow through all the way, and then it goes. Then you get a sign up. You understand? Now the follow through is actually one of the hardest basic building blocks to comply with. Can I tell you why? All right, because that's when people try to avoid you. And everyone I meet around the world tells me, what if the guy doesn't answer the phone? Stop calling him. Lah. If you know the guy is avoiding you, why, why do you want to trap him, is it? Somebody said, no, I must hunt him down, must do the follow through. Listen, the guy is avoiding you. He never reply SMS. He never answer a phone. What could be the answer? No. One person said, I go to his house at night. Nah. I said, you want to be arrested, is it? The guy is, is going to shoot you from the window. <laughs> Why are you all so panicky? I don't understand, you know. Up the follow through. My follow through is very simple. Hi. Remember we met the other day? Yes. Can we meet up again? Any questions? Right? If the guy is interested, he'll say yes. If the guy is totally not interested, he'll say no, I'm not interested. What can you do? People keep telling me, what should I do in that situation? Hmm. <laughs> Show another plan. La. What's your... <laughs> what, what can you do? <laughs> Beat him up. Sign up now. But... If you walk past his house with the biodis in your hand. <laughs> don't make it obvious. Hold it like that. <laughs> no, you can't do anything, guys. I'm sorry. If the guy says no, you can do an experiment. Statistic survey. You understand? By the way, I'm just keen to know why you said no. You can do that if you want to have some fun. I do that all the time. When the guy says, no, I'm not into that stupid business. I say, I'm really shocked, you know why? Because I know you are broke. You have a pathetic job. <laughs> <laughs> why would you say no? Uh, how dare you say that? Huh? But it's true. <laughs> so, you think about it, call me back. I still want to help you. I still think this business and you can work. When you're ready, give me a call. If there's anything major happening, I'll call you. All right? But I, I respect your decision for the moment. Okay? Have a nice day. Simple. I like this statistic survey. Someone said, my, my wife said no. I said, can I talk to her? Why do you want to talk to my wife? <coughs> no, give me a number. I want to find out why would she influence her husband not to do something which could change her family's life. I just want to know. Please, you want to sign up so I can accept you now already. But I want to talk to your wife. Put her on the line. Oh, hold on. Huh? Hello, Mrs. Lim? Yes. 
Why? Eh? <laughs> you don't want him to join? You want to get information? You want to get more experience? Don't be afraid. See, my mother always taught me something. She said, good looking son. <laughs> no, because I got two brothers. So. She always differentiates by looks. <laughs> Good looking son, <laughs> always ask yourself, what is the worst can happen? And once you have accepted that, you have nothing to fear. True? True. I strongly believe in that in my life. That's my life policy. Alright? So I look at networking, show the plan, basic belief block number five. Right? What's the worst that can happen? No. Do they say no and beat you up at the same time? <laughs> Shoot you? They only say no. That's the worst. If you have accepted that at the worst, you got nothing to fear. The guy said no. Cool, man. I respect your decision. Can I know why? Well, to be honest, I don't have the money. Lah. Hey, then we can still talk. All right, I'll give you a few more details. We have a retail option where you can retail and get the UV. No need to buy for yourself. All right, there are many options if you don't have money right now in our company. You can retail two biodis and get one UV and start building the business immediately. All right, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, I didn't want to confuse you during the plan. Can we meet for coffee? Cool, let's meet for coffee. You want to take it further, you take it further. To me, I always take it further. Not for any purpose, it's just for fun. And if people around me, I put on speakerphone. You understand? But a follow through, and you get a follow through. Follow through must be done when? 24, 48 hours. Nothing more than 48 hours because people forget. Strike when the iron is hot. Take her on a date when you're still good looking. You understand? All right? And basically, that's important. 48 hours. And it's phone call follow through. Hi, Mr. Lim. Patman here. Remember we met on Saturday? Yeah, I showed you the opportunity. Yes, 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 yes. Very interesting. All right, I just want to catch up with you today or tomorrow. Okay? To handle any of your questions and see how do we move forward. All right? Always use positive terms. Don't use... Uh, I want to convince you, lah, because I'm sure you're not convinced. <laughs> Somebody actually said that. I heard it. I would tell people, listen, let's meet up, let's move forward. Alright, I've got a few updates for you, which I didn't share with you the other day. Okay? No obligations, but let's meet for a cup of tea. Are you guys with me now? Yes. Now, the follow-through is to handle objections. Because if they have questions during the plan, they have much more questions during the follow through. Why? Why? Because they talk to everyone in town. You know, I met this guy, huh? he had this glass thing huh? which can solve all your problems. Scam. Oh, okay. You know what I'm They talk to their mother in law, neighbor, auntie, uncle, everyone. And they get more negative feedback. Now they're geared up with more bullets to come and shoot you, you understand? Huh? <laughs> and I forgot, I missed out. I missed out on uh, showing the plan. After showing the plan, uh, basic billing mark number five, okay, always tell them, please don't talk to anyone about this business all right, until we meet and do a follow-up. Do you understand? Right? There will be a lot of people out there with a lot of opinions. Okay? Please don't talk to anyone. You have to say, will they listen to you? High possibility, no. But you said it, you've done your duty. So he comes back with all the objections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Alright guys? I'm not going to go into the details of objections. Alright? Because that will be a different CD. Because I'm telling you, but I'm telling you, they can't shoot more than 10 bullets. Is it legal? Does it work? I got no money, I got no time, 